Hello YouTubers, welcome to another DIY Dan ATV maintenance video. As you guys know, I just picked up this uh, Can-Am 850 XMR. It's a 2021 model. I waited seven months to get this thing. It finally arrived last month. I'm already at 9.3 hours, and they recommend doing a, uh, an oil change at the 10 hour mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. I'm not exactly at 10 hours, but it's close enough for me since it's starting to get cold out here. So I'm right at, I believe 9.2 or 9.3. Let's see what it says here. Yep, 9.4. So I've got all the stuff here. I'm gonna use Shell Rotella 5W40. I used it in my 570, love the stuff. I use it in my motorcycles, my Porsches, uh, pretty much all my vehicles. And it's just served me very well. I know to some people, oil is like a religion. So use whatever you're comfortable with. You know, I don't want to get into a battle about which oil is better than, you know, the other one. And then I'm also going to use a K&N oil filter. It is part number KN152. I'll leave links in the description on where you can get all this stuff. So there are a couple of tools you will need. You'll need a, uh, a flathead screwdriver to remove a lot of these uh, plastic rivets here because you have to remove this cover here to get, gain access to the oil filter since the oil filter cover is located right there so if you remove this cover you'll have easy access to it some people like to remove the front tire to give you a little bit more room I'm sure you can do it both ways I'm gonna go ahead and remove my front tire to remove my trail wheels and then put the factory wheels back on so for this video the front wheel is going to come off, but you don't have to. It's it's completely optional and it is up to you. So all you'll need is a 15 millimeter uh, socket for the lug nut. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket for the uh, drain plug. Then obviously you'll need a funnel. And then the manual says this uh, particular machine takes 2.1 quarts of oil. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise it. So we have quite a few of these plastic rivets we have to remove. Uh, let's see how many. I see one there, one there, one there. I see two down here, right behind the shock. And I'm sure they have another one hidden. Yep, and then another one right above the two that are down here. So you got two down here at the bottom and then one at the top. And I like to just take a flathead screwdriver pry it in there and it pops right out that's what they look like Oh, I missed one. Before we remove the oil filter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start draining the oil. So before we do that, we want to loosen the fill plug and also the oil check plug. So I've got that all nice and loose. And then right under here, there's a little access hole. And it is right there. That's where the drain plug is. So you just take a 15 millimeter. And 
and insert it in the bottom. I'm trying to do this um, one-handed here while also holding the camera. Ah, there we go. I think I just cracked it loose. Yep, I did. Good. And let's see how much of a mess I make. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. So while this is draining, we're going to work on getting the oil filter removed. So right there is the oil filter cover. And all you need is a T30 socket. It looks like this. It's a star bit. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get a set of these at. They're very reasonably priced. Just seeing if there's any metal shavings in there. Um, don't be alarmed if you do see a little bit. That's normal during a break-in procedure. So I'm now ready to reinstall my train plug here. So I'm just going to clean it off. There's a little bit of metal shavings right there on the end of the magnet there. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm not alarmed by that. It is a brand new engine with only uh, 9.3 hours on it. So pretty normal. So everything's all cleaned off, then I'll install my new crush washer. So we got the drain plug installed. So now I'm ready to work on installing the oil filter. I just installed my new seal on the oil filter cover. So let me just take out my new oil filter here and then we'll get that installed. Looks just like the factory one. Lubricate the new seal. All right, so I'm ready to start filling this thing up with oil. And it says in the owner's manual, when you check the oil, you always have to screw the dipstick all the way in to check the level, and then you remove it. So let's go ahead and add the 2.1 quarts that it requires. Perfect, the dipstick is now reading at the full mark, so I'm now ready to start the engine and check for leaks. Alright, now I'm just going to check for leaks, make sure everything looks good. So I'm checking the oil filter housing, I'm not seeing any leaks there, and I'm not seeing any leaks at the drain plug. 
everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back together. I'm gonna shut the machine off, let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then double check the oil level again. All right, so my ATV's been sitting for about 10 minutes since I last started it, so I'm going to check the oil now. And it might be just a tad low, because it has to fill up the oil filter housing with oil. So we might have to add just a tiny bit. And yep, I'm gonna have to add some. Just a little below, so it's like right there, she's barely at the minimum level now. Perfect. Oil is now topped off. Here I'm pouring the old oil into a container so I can recycle it. If you do your own maintenance, please recycle your old oil. AutoZone, Advanced Auto, and Walmart are just a few of the places that will take your old oil for free. And that's how I changed the oil in my 2021 Can-Am Outlander 850 XMR. Hopefully this video will be helpful to you if you are trying to change the oil in your machine. Changing the oil in my Can-Am was pretty easy to do and took me about 30 minutes to complete. I think the hardest part of this service was trying to get to the bolts that hold the oil filter cover on because there isn't a lot of room to work in there. If you'd like to see more Can-Am DIY videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any other questions on how to change the oil in your Can-Am, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Happy wrenching!